tell you a little bit about the ground rules here. This is meant to be fun. Uh, this isn't a formal lecture. We want you folks to participate. We want you to get involved. We want you to laugh with us, be confused with us, ask questions of us, challenge us, debate with us, and have fun doing this. Uh, All right, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Time. I want to stop you a minute there because here's this guy looking at you. He's right, he saw you in the hall, you know? And he says, Ronnie, come on. You know, I'm just having a little heartburn. I've had this heartburn for a long time. Uh, what can you tell me? So, you know, wouldn't you just tell the guy to go on PPI? What do you think? Some of the guys otherwise negative. What would you do with it? It depends on how bothered he is by this. Would you consider a patient who has grade C esophagitis an appropriate candidate for anti-reflux surgery? And I guess it, I wanted to ask uh, Dr. Pimentel, Dr. El Hayek, Dr. Ponsky, what does a patient have to prove to you to get? So you have the expertise of, of poem providers, you have the expertise of pneumatic dilatation and color. Are we expanding the indications for intervention for previous diseases we weren't looking at, like type 3 echolation, because now we have access to the entire esophagus? And we can diagnose it if we have, a, if we have some tissue, so but like the myoma is very different. But see, if, as a pathologist, you diagnose everything later. So the question <laughs> is, how do we diagnose it before we do the operation? Again, I'm going to go to Dr. Aram and say, does endoscopic ultrasound if a gastroenterologist or some a surgeon doing endoscopy sees a submucosal mid-esophageal lesion, what is the best test do you believe to help us distinguish its origin or its nature? Let me go to our uh, remote faculty. Any comments over there? Sure, you're you're next. More you're next, Olga. Okay. How was the bloating? Let me just ask the clinical question. Uh, the cancer was picked up incidentally. Let's not lose sight of what the symptom was that the patient came in. What did you find in the bloating? Did you know, surprisingly, after uh, I told her she had cancer and then we were able to successfully remove it endoscopically, she hasn't complained of any bloating. <laughs> she switched delis. <laughs> she, she didn't come back. Therapeutic. <laughs> Therapeutic endoscopy.